Hi friends, I'm Olga Kölsch and welcome back to my studio. Today we are going to paint bluebell flowers or hairbell flowers in my favorite transparent technique, which you can also find in my book. I hope you will like this lesson. Let's paint. For painting bluebells, I prepared very diluted cobalt blue, Berlin green and quinacridone violet. Firstly, I'm watering. I'm starting to paint from the top one. I water the area of the whole bud with my clean brush. I, this time I use cold pressed paper with rough texture and that means this paper will need some time until water will soak in. So don't be greedy. Add nice amount of water and distribute it very carefully. We are watering just one top bud right now. Let the water really sucked in. Try to remove bottles. It's okay to go with your brush several times to help water a little bit sucked in. So I will start with cobalt bloom. I have it very, very diluted and I go around I will go around my flower, especially on the top, top parts. I would like to create some gradient. So from about the middle of the flower, I will start to add a hint of quinacridone violet and just allow all my colors to mix organically. I like this mixing of blue and purple, how colors are interacting with each other. For now, I'm not touching the in, inner part. I switch my brush to a smaller one with a nice tip. And I would like to use, it's the same cobalt blue, this one, cobalt blue, but bold. And I will outline a little bit the top leaves just a little bit i would like to add them some thickness i allow my watercolor distribute by itself i just give a little bit of direction right now i am painting the back part of the bud because bluebell consists, <laughs> we can see two parts. It's the background part and later on we will paint the front part. Um, I wash my brush. I remove excess water with a paper towel and I go and slightly distribute colors. In, in the direction to the middle of the flower. I actually like very much how already I can see the colors. With quinacridone or quinacridone violet, be very careful, it's very bright color. So it's nice if you mix it a little bit with cobalt, for example, to soften it a little bit. And from about the middle, I would like to add my first stroke of purple color to outline the first bud. As we are painting in layers, there will be an option to come back and correct everything. For now, for the first layer, we just set up our future flower. And it would be already nice moment to add some Berlin green because um, this part will be, of course, green. The stem starts right here. So it's very nice to already to set up this mixing of colors. With the green color, and with stems, we use the same principle. 
Firstly, we paint very diluted, and later on, we will add, because this is diluted, and later on, we will add more and more boldness and contrast. Right now, it's nice just to prepare, let's say, background of our bluebell. I think I will leave it for later. You see, because um, the paper has rough texture, sometimes it creates this um, maybe unwelcome out out goes out outside flows outside of the flower bud, but that's okay. We will correct this later. Right now, this area is still wet. I would like to add with the tip of the brush. I would like to add just the idea of middle vein of the of bluebell flowers. It's very, it's very tiny, it's very delicate, so don't add too much color and soften everything. Should be just an idea. And now we have to dry very, very carefully what we just painted. Um, same principle, the front part of our bluebell. I painted just with quinacridone violet. I start from top and distribute water, my very, very transparent water, to the bottom of the flower with my smaller brush. Now both bars are dry. Let's add a few details. I use quinacridone violet and I go once again with my super diluted mix just for this nice little band areas of petals just over them nothing else better to use a smaller brush then you have better a more accurate control let's say um, if you like you can add more actually i would like to add more of a contrast um, around this area. With the tip of my brush, I carefully go around with small, with small strokes. No need to paint in one go. It's okay to move your hand, your brush, in small, delicate strokes. You can add a little bit of touch of blue and if it feels too bright, for example, I feel it too bright, I wash my brush and I lift up some color from the middle. Or you can just press paper towel into that area and that will do the trick. So now let's do the same, same thing for the other, for the other, <laughs> for the other bud. This bent area goes a little bit outside of the main bud, so we need to show that and paint, apply this mix into this area and let's do some outlines you need to find your nice balance for the boldness for the amount of boldness it's unfortunately no <laughs> exact recipe it should feel right for you it depends on whether you like more of contrast or or you more person who likes a little bit of delicacy and softness. Or you can be both. So 
like this while everything is drying i will start with my super diluted perlin green i will paint leaves leaves area very diluted just i apply my perlin green without mixing with anything Uh, this area will be very very bold so for now just don't bother what's happening in this area you might like just to soften a little bit everything but no pressure on yourself so just nice beautiful leaves around If you have a nice brush, you can basically paint leaves in just one brush stroke. That's how I like to do that. Now with the tip of the brush, you can add bold accents for the leaves in the same principle as we did with buds. I wouldn't do much, but some some accents are, are nice. You can make some curves in that moment. And soften a little bit areas where you don't like it. For the inner structure, now, now comes the fun part. I will use burnt sienna, just a little bit of burnt sienna. Mm, or actually, for the inner part where the magic happens, I will use a mix of Berlin green, just Berlin green, and purple, quinacridone violet. I, I keep calling it purple. So now it it just very very dark mix and I would like to paint them pistol with this dusty grey greyish purplish color. Nothing special, you just need to be brave and paint over Your delicate, your super delicate flower. Now you need to add some boldness. You may rely the boldness, whether you can be very, very diluted or let's say bold enough so that these parts will be visible. Uh, from about this point, I would like to add more green touch into this inner structure. This oval area, I add extra green layer. And make this part a little bit bold and three-dimensional. Same for the second part. Just paint very delicate. Stamens and from about a middle point, try to add more of green color, pearling green, and create this overly area. So you need to set up uh, pistol and stimulants on, on a nice bottom. 
they shouldn't shouldn't be flying somewhere untouched so they need their ground and that ground should be visible that's the idea of uh, idea behind painting in this transparent technique so we see the inner structure of flowers now um in principle we are we are done but that's a nice moment to just go have a look what you would like to add some details for example this leaf can be the border of this leaf can be visible so i can make an extra stroke for this leaf and then i wash my brush dry it with a paper towel and soften this Very, 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 very delicate. It's always nice and always fun to add a little bit of cur curviness into some some moments. For example, with cobalt bloom, I just go with very, very diluted cobalt blue. I go around one of the petals and create this small wave, this small bent area. And uh, I think I would like to bring up more these small little areas. And I will do so with bold purple <laughs> violet, quinacridone of violet color. I will just go once again Paint the outline. I wash my brush. Turn a little bit the paper, it will be more handy. And with this move, it looks, it might feel like you're trying to erase it, but actually, yes, you are softening this uh, border between bold and not bold part. That creates very nice soft. Mm -hmm. Soft idea. You can add a little bit of color on the top. Now let's have a look. I think it's all good. Just I want to I want to add a little bit of bold area in this side. And that's basically final parts. You can add again a little bit of um, idea of needle veins. They usually start from these tops. They, be, they should be very, very, very diluted. If you don't feel comfortable, just skip this part. If you feel comfortable, it's a very nice touch to add to your paintings. Thank you so much for painting with me. Please leave some feedback and comments what you would like to paint next. See you next time. Bye bye.